guys, so it's me, Tiana, and today I'm back with the second video in this note-taking series that I'm doing on this channel. And today I'm going to show you guys how I take notes from a PowerPoint. Now I know that not all teachers put PowerPoint notes up on the board. A lot of teachers nowadays are teaching lecture style, and I am hoping to do a lecture style video as well as how you take notes when a teacher gives you like a handout or a reading that's not in your textbook because some of the methods of organization that I use in my textbook summaries you can't use if you have a handout. So today I'm going to focus on the PowerPoint note taking. Now I don't actually have any of my PowerPoint notes left from last year to show you guys what I do but I basically just kind of drew up like a mock one that's a template. There's not really any actual information on it. I would just show you bit with this template how I would like section stuff off and how I would use the different sections in my notes. So to start off you can see that I am a very colorful person when it comes to note taking. I don't like plain boring notes. However, I have realized that taking notes in very colorful pens I just find makes my notes look really messy and as much as it might make it look f more fun, um, I just prefer to use highlighters so that's what I've done but you're more than welcome to do these in different color pens as well. So to start off, looking up at the top, I have put the title. Now I've just done this in plain blue pen and underlined it in red like you know they teach you to do in grade three and then over here I've just put a date random date once again not an actual note and then up here at the top I've put references to textbook pages now I find that a lot of times especially with PowerPoints teachers tend to give references to where they're getting the information from in your textbook so I like to write those textbook reference pages up in the top here so that if I need clarification on any information that I have in this note I know exactly where to go and look now moving down the first thing that I do is I take whatever section is the title, so for instance Pearl Harbor if we're talking about World War II, and I would write the topic and then oftentimes if they give you a paragraph I would highly recommend putting it into bullet points just because it will make it easier for you when you're reading back over your notes to just, you won't have to go through a big long paragraph to find what's important, you've got it right there. And also sometimes teachers will even just give you bullet points. So just write down the bullet points, but I highly recommend summarizing whatever they've given to you um, because it'll help make your notes a lot shorter and so you just keep the information that you might not know or the information that you think is important for a test. Don't write down everything because then teachers tend to have to wait a really long time before they flip the slide and it just helps the whole entire class move faster if you either one write really fast which I don't or two you just summarize what's on the board so that you're done and you're not stressing out about getting everything down now you can see that that's what I've done and then you can see here for example I have this little bit highlighted in blue now obviously this isn't a real note um, given that my writing isn't normally that scribbly but um, if I have a vocab word that I don't know I would pick a color for instance for this note I used blue and I would highlight that word and then moving over this is in the margin I would write vocab highlight it in blue and then I would write whatever the vocab word is and I would write the definition underneath now this just helps to make sure that your notes are nice and clear when you're reading back over them and there's no real need to go and clarify one single word over and over and over again because you have the definition of the word in your notes now moving down, I just did the same thing, Canada's role, put it in bullet points, and you'll notice that whatever color I highlight the top title in, I also use that and I go around the bullet points. I just think that that helps to keep my notes looking neat. Once again, I had a vocab word that I didn't know, so I would just highlight it and write the definition in the margin. Now, moving over to the other margin, what I like to do, and there's kind of two ways you can use this. You can either use it to pull out key information or, for instance, in history, our goal mainly in history is to answer the who, what, when, where, why, and how questions. So I would just take those questions and write them in the corner. So like, who was involved? What happened? What was the significance of what happened? 
um, how did this impact the overall outcome, stuff like that, so that when I'm going back to study, I know exactly what I should focus on. This is also a great place to write any other questions that your teacher might ask. Um, so for instance, if they're like, you know, going through this, I want you guys to think about how this event played into the overall effect that World War II had, or how this event impacted which countries were involved, or something like that. That would be a great place to write down their questions. So you can see that I've just done that all the way down. Once again, I highlight it, and then I just put little stars for my bullet points, um, and I use the same color just to help organize it. And then moving down, especially if you're um, doing a note for history. Now I know that all of my notes basically that I'm showing you guys are from history and that's just because I take a lot of history classes and so I find that I do a lot of history notes and those are the notes that I have the most experience with. So I have just done a people section as well. Now moving down to the bottom, I would like to do a summary section. I would either pull out a key fact from the sections above, or I would write a study question, or anything along those lines that would just be helpful down here. So if I was pulling out key information and writing it up here, I would write study questions down here. You basically just kind of have to modify whatever it is that you're working with to fit these sections, but these are basically the sections that I use. So I use each of the two margins, and then I section off a space at the bottom. And I love this note style, um, or this note taking method, whatever you want to call it. I just think that it is phenomenal. It helps keep my notes so organized and so colorful. And I hope that you guys found this video useful as well. So for my next note taking method, I'm going to be doing how you can take notes from a handout that your teacher gives you. And last, I will try and throw in a lecture style note taking. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any other back to school videos that you guys would like to see. Remember to give this video a thumb up if you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.